Hi, it's Amy, and I wanted to talk about making um, ceramic tile coasters. I am doing a craft show in a couple weeks, and these seem like a really nice um, gift. They get a lot of value, and they're a nice profit margin. Um, I started with 4-inch square tiles that you can pick up at Home Depot, or Lowe's. Okay, and I was trying a couple different methods, and I'll tell you what I did, what worked, and what didn't work. I saw on May May made it. She made made these for a show that she did, and she used stays on ink. I would just turn these around because they're all upside down to you, um, and said that the, it last it worked very well. Well, I managed to mess that up, and I'll tell you how. First of all. Um, the first set that I did, I stamped with the stays on ink, and then I also had some that I used these folk art enamel acrylic paints on. Um, if you bake these, they're to be per they're supposed to be permanent, and they're meant for glass and ceramic. Okay, so what I did was stamped it and then baked it. I thought, well, if baking makes it better, of course, you know, may I just throw in the ink stamped ones also and bake those. It's not a good idea. Here's what happened. These held up pretty well, but if you can look at this, you can see that um, it is, oops, I'm trying to figure out how to do this upside down. Right around here, it was a little bit vulnerable to being wiped off with a washcloth and it has netting on the back but it was a washcloth because you can't guarantee what your customer is going to wipe it off with so you don't want them to go home and be unhappy with the product that they bought from you um, so it worked pretty well but if you have the ink on too heavy or the paint on too heavy it will catch and have um, catch that friction and it will take off a little bit of your finished look the other thing I did Okay, then when I baked it with the ink, they just wiped right off. All the ink just wiped right off. It was terrible. Well, this one I stamped with the stays on. And I'm trying to figure out which way to go. Okay, this one I stamped with the stays on, and I didn't bake it and forgot about it on the shelf. Then I picked it up, wiped it off with a... Um, with a baby wipe and it was it was nice it just held right in there and it didn't wipe off at all so the stays on did work really well if you didn't bake it another option I tried before I realized that this one was good I talked to my husband he works in ceramics and works with glaze and everything he said what you should do why don't we try this get some sandpaper um, this is wet or dry sandpaper 220 and he says, I'll scuff them up and spray them with, what did he tell me? Um, enamel, clear enamel spray paint, which I bought. It was Rust-Oleum brand. Well, the ink will reactivate if you spray it too heavily with the acrylic. Um, it is really nicely sealed underneath that um, enamel paint, I mean. Um, you can actually even see how it, I'm not sure if you can tell, it kind of sucks up to the to the ink. So this one was not a very good one. But it did scuff it up. The paint, the enamel stuck to it. I'm sure I can wash this with whatever I want to. It's not going to get it. So what he did was he said, um, let me try it again, and I won't spray it as hard, as heavy. And this is that one. And you can see it turned the the brown ink a little bit kind of like a greenish tint and it did reactivate it a little bit you can see that the letters aren't as clear so that's how that turned out now if you did this with acrylic paint you wouldn't have that problem with the, the enamel paint it would give it an extra layer of protection if you scuffed it used your enamel paint to stamp and then did your clear coat because it won't reactivate once it's set it goes that undergoes that chemical change and it will be wonderful all right um and this is just when i just stamped with the ink and i'm just letting it cure and trusting that it will be 
good just like this one was. So that's what I found out on using stays on and enamel. May May was right. This works very well. Just don't try to ruin the process by making it better. And um, another thing that I would advise you to do is you'll see that there are uh, little bumps here along the edges. And you can sand those off real easily and smooth them out. These are sanded down but not off. You just take this along there and sand it smooth so it has a nicer finish on the edge. And I think I'm going to, I'm not positive, but I think I'm going to put a paint around the edge just to give it a more finished look if I can't get those bumps all the way off. If I paint them, it might make them fade into the background. And then, I'll be right back. I bought a roll of cork that I will try to get in the lay here that I'm going to cut to put on the backs because they're pretty rough um, so they don't scratch any base furniture and then I will stack them with tissue paper between them to protect them from any rubbing and tie them up with a bow because everybody likes everything tied with a bow so there's my hints and tips what did and did not work on making um, stamped ceramic coasters. Hope you enjoy it and um, see you again.